The Procyon Centauri, this brand new mod for BeamNG brings a modern SUV to the game. The mod's been a year in development, it's got so many awesome custom features and we're going to be checking out every single variant today. We're going to start with the S and L series. So the S series in the middle is the sporty version and the L series is the luxury version. We're going to be driving them around West Coast USA and let's have a look at some of the interactive features. We can open all the doors and including the boot, Where's the button? There it is. On the interior, you'll see there's some interactive buttons here. You can open the bonnet, turn off the engine. There's these lights that you can turn on in the interior. I've never seen that before. That is really, really cool. Interactive buttons. And then we have a sunroof. U to vent it. You go opens a little bit and then shift in U and you can open it all the way. We can get some fresh digital air. Now, we also have a bouncy mode because this has air suspension. I press shift and B, the car will start bouncing. Yay! I don't know what the point of that is, it's just kind of a little bit of a gimmick, but it's really, really cool, and it does, you know, you see it on some uh, modern SUVs. Now this, in terms of styling, I think is based on the Toyota Land Cruiser. Maybe it takes some styling features from the, I don't know, Land Rover Discovery? But if we have a look over here at the X series, the off-road variant, this has another special feature. If we open the boot, and then press Shift and S, What's going to happen? Well, these seats are going to fold down. I've never seen this before in a BeamNG mod. Look, if, if, when we fold them up, even the headrests flip up and lock into place. Isn't that just so cool? Wow. Okay, so let's go in the sport variant to start with. So, get this thing on the road. We've got a electronic handbrake. You can hear it. It's really cool. So, the interior is lovely. It does feel very like a Land Rover in here, to be honest. Um, yeah, very like a Land Rover. We've got this digital display and a map on the center screen. And when things happen to your car, you know, when you start to overheat or get like a, you know, you crash, warnings will display on this screen, which is really, really cool. In fact, let's do it right now. Get some speed up and do a crash test in this fully custom car by Finn Wilkinson. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below for you to go and check out. Here we go, so slow-mo. We're going in for a crash. Bang. Oh, that is an awesome crash model. Brilliant. So on the interior, what does it say? <laughs> I don't think anything because it's broken. Right, just, just, let's just have a small crash and then we can see some kind of warning. Small crash like that. Car? No, it's a beast. It, it doesn't detect anything wrong. Well, trust me, things do pop up on there, like if you get like a flat tire and stuff. So anyway, let's see the sporting credentials of this vehicle. Here we go. Is it fast? Well, it's not slow. Yeah, it's not bad. Whee! Now, of course, these cars will spend most of their time in the city, but uh, we will try the off-road variant on maybe Utah or something like that later, because you've got to check out the off-road capability of this thing. Oh yeah, motorway driving, let's go. Ooh, brake, 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 brake. Whoa, what was that? High brake temperature, there you go. So it's a really loud sort of noise to alert you to problems with the car. Has this got a sunroof? Yes, it does. So if we open the sunroof, what you can actually do, is it opening up? Uh, you? No, okay, this one doesn't have a full sunroof, it just has a vented one. But if we go to full speed, I think it might say, yeah. High wind warning, sunroof may rip off. Let's see if it does. I really want to see it rip off. Come on. 107 miles per hour. Come on, sunroof. You can rip off. Wow, what's the top speed of this thing? So this has an S410T, and that means it has a 3.5 litre twin turbocharged V6 with 410 horsepower. So it's pretty damn powerful. Let's have a full speed crash test at the end here. Ready? Here we go. This is not going to be good. Ooh. The one of the wheels has flown off. Awesome. Yeah. Interior is like deformed massively as well. Wow. So the final thing to have a look at is um, there's some really nice lighting effects on this car. So we've got the uh, headlights like that. And when you indicate, they've got these kind of Audi style. I don't know what is that called, but you know what I mean. It like, it, like moves from left to right. Oh, it looks just absolutely awesome. So, let's try out another variant. 
Here are the different variants. We can see we've got this weird drivable body and frame. I think we've got to check this out. It's also stupidly fast, apparently. Just a frame. Yeah, it is pretty fast. So it's got no doors, it's just a frame, I guess, for testing purposes. Whoa, stop in the tunnel. There we go. Okay, next one. So we were checking out the S410T. Why don't we try the L410T, which has got the same engine, but it's got a more luxurious equipment uh, trim level. So yeah, on the interior, I mean, we can't really see because it's so dark. Reverse, again, is the light. Oh, I like the white. That's very nice. A white interior. I am quite partial to white interiors and light interiors. Okay, lights are on. This is just a sporty version, of course. And we've got active mode, inactive mode. So we've got drive mode comfort, drive mode sport, and drive mode trail. Okay. So that is for, like, off-roading. Very soft suspension if we have it in comfort mode. Let's put it in comfort mode. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> is that comfort mode? No, that's comfort mode. Yeah, that's TCS off. Comfort mode. Very soft suspension. Oh my goodness. Shift B. Can we get some bounces going? Oh, I don't know if this one has um, the air suspension. I think only a couple of variants have the air suspension. Whoa. Awesome. Okay, next one up. Let's go for the... Uh, heck, no, that's the off-road. The S520T. Twin turbocharged 4.4 litre petrol V8, which has 520 horsepower and it's got sportier, more aggressive styling. Here we go. Oh, again, very, very Land Rover or Range Rover on the interior. I love it. Okay, let's go sport mode. Sport plus mode we've got. We've got manual or semi automatic transmission. It's quite a refined engine noise. It's not very loud for a V8. But it's damn quick. Yes! I'm loving it. Through the tunnel. Brake! Whoa! Fairly good brake, although it does have... Yeah, the, the brakes seem to fade quite a lot because you have to stop such a heavy amount of car. Can we interact with the... Oh, you can't interact with this. You can't have, like, play music and stuff. That'd be cool, but... I haven't seen many cars with that. I think only the... Um, the Gavril Vertex has an interactive radio. That's the only car I've ever seen. Now, I've said it before about these kind of mods. This car could definitely be in the vanilla game. It is of that high quality. Brake, come on. Handles pretty well. You can really hear that twin turbocharger working. Wow. Whoa. Ooh. That's kind of a big crash. Uh oh. Oh. Did you see the way the camera shook when we hit that? You can actually see like the riveting or the, the welding underneath the body panels when it all breaks apart. That's such a cool detail. Um, right, the next one, the L520T. This is the most luxurious vent. That's the one we had over at the petrol station, the service center. So here we go. We're going to go into, we're just going to stick it in comfort mode. There we go. And let's go. It's beautiful inside. Red interior. Not 100% sure I like red interiors as much as... Uh oh. Are we all right? Bumper got ripped off a bit. Oh look, we can drive right back where we were. That's kind of funny. Yay! How much was petrol there? Yeah, I imagine this car has a lot of problems with fuel economy. Um, with a 4.4 litre V8 in this heavy body. It's going to be pretty difficult to run this thing without a sizeable wallet. <laughs> I like the styling though, it's, it's, you know, it's not the most aerodynamic thing ever, but it does look really nice. Soft suspension, oh yeah. Now there is actually a version that's even more luxurious than this, it's called the, is it the Nebula edition? Yes. Inspired the Carina Nebula, this is the ultimate in comfort and class for the Procyon. It comes standard with a starlight, a starlight roof, adjustable air suspension and lots more. So let's have a look at some of the features of this, so starlight roof. Oh, it's just like a Rolls Royce with their, like, star roof thing. That's really cool. Turn the lights on, that's really cool. I don't know what the point of this is, but it's, you know, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, on the interior, what have we got? Any, anything custom? Not sure. Let's have a quick look at the uh, engine. Open the bonnet. There we go. Look at that V8. Twin turbo V8. A pretty good engine model. Unfortunately, it's all covered up by this plastic. But if we look inside, yeah, you know, it's all modelled in there. That's pretty cool. Close it up. So. 
Oh, I can, the, the camera couldn't pan fast enough. Yeah. So shift B, let's go bouncy mode. Come on. Can we get it to go bouncy? I think you have to be stopped, don't you? Yeah, you have to kind of be stopped, but there you go. Look, bouncy mode. And as we drive along, it's now going to be really soft and sort of wobbly. I'd be worried about it, like, tipping over in bouncy mode, to be honest. If we turn off the traction control system, can we get it to roll over? That'd be kind of cool. Like, the old Range Rovers were known for rolling over. Maybe the Land Rover, uh, the, uh, Land, Land Rover, the, um... Land Cruiser, they've all got such similar names, haven't they? We're kind of known for it, but, um... No. It feels pretty solid. Which is good. What? Oh, dear. That was a bit of a disaster. Now, what else have we got to look at in terms of the non-off-roady variants? So, we've checked out all of these. Blah, 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 blah. Now, ah, the police versions. Yeah, so we've got a UK police car. Let's have a quick look at that. Here we go. So, interior. Oh, it's right-hand drive. Of course it is. Yep, that's a UK siren. Really cool. So the UK police do... I mean, sometimes they use Range Rovers, but they do use, like, Land, Land Rover Discoveries. So that's what this would be closest to. That's really cool. And it's right-hand drive. Just such a cool um, attention to detail there. We've also got a Japanese police version. I'm, I'm assuming they use that in, like, the countryside in Japan. Hear the siren? Can we hear the siren? Yep, that's a Japanese police siren. They've got really retro sirens in Japan, which I find quite cool. Again, right-hand drive. It does say miles per hour on there. They use kilometers in Japan, but we'll overlook that. Oops. Um, and the final one is... An, well, actually, there's two more. An Italian police over here. Hear that siren? Oh, yeah, left-hand drive. That is awesome. I could definitely imagine driving this around Italy. And what else? The American one. The Interceptor. Yay. Awesome. Hear the siren. Yes. And sports. Let's go. The game is like tanking an FPS now. I've spawned too many cars. Right. Let's go and try out the off-road variants in Utah. So here are the models that are more suited to off-road. On the left, we've got the utilitarian version, the U, I think it's 340. And on the right, we've got the X520, which is an off-road variant um, that's, I guess, got this 5, no, 4.4 litre V8 twin turbocharged engine. Now, if we try out the utility version, if I can show you exactly which version I'm using right now. It's the 340, sorry. The 340 with the bull bar is what I'm using. So we've just got a version without. It's exactly the same. And let's try driving it around. So it's perfect for the Utah map. Now, we need to put it into trail mode. There you go. Perfect. We're in the campsite right now. Where can we... Can we get, like, down somewhere? Can we use the off-road capability to get down here? Uh, yes. I think we can. Let's try it. Let's go off here. Right. Drive along. So, it's not completely, you know, lacking in luxury on the inside. We've got some of the nice features. We've got the digital displays and all that. Although, what car, you know, what new car over a certain price doesn't have a digital display these days? Right, here we go. Awesome. Does it have the air suspension? I don't think it will. No, it won't. But um, we have got a transfer case, which we'll put on. We'll lock it. And then we can also lock the differentials. We, which we don't need to do that right now. Right, see if we can cross the river. That'd be awesome. We've got a, a uh, snorkel. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That's a big drop. Uh, let's go left. Oh, dear. The bull bar's being ripped off a bit. That's fine. Come on, 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 come on. Don't tip over. Oh, dear. The underside of the car was kind of damaged there. The snorkel working well. Engine not hydro locking at all from that. That was awesome. So it's got a 3.3 litre twin tur turbocharged diesel V6 with 710 newton meters. That's like 60 newton meters more than the 4.4 litre petrol twin turbocharged V8. It's such a powerful diesel engine. We've also got a bull bar, sorry, bull bar, a tow hook on the back. So this really does have some utility, whoa, features. But it can't really beat, in terms of utility, the utility package. Because this is like a van. So if we open it up, you can see we've got loads of space in the back. 
for all of your goods. Now if we start this thing up, exactly the same. It's got a snorkel. It's perfect for sort of, I don't know. What would it be perfect for around here? Ooh, maybe like driving on a trail. Or in the UK we would call like off-roaders like green laners, green laning. But it's not very green around here, so it'd more be like orange laning. <laughs> oh, dust laning, that'd be good. So what does the trail mode actually do? Wow, that was bad. Trail mode, I don't really know. It puts the car into ma like sus sequential mode. Um, maybe it makes the suspension a little bit softer, a bit more suited for the off-road. It's hard to really say. Whoa. It just goes through these... Yeah, wow, look at that. It can really wade through deep water. That's awesome. Okay, let's go back to the other one. So this is the X uh, like trim variant. And X is just the factory spec uh, off-roady sort of version. So we've got the X410, the X520, and the X520 Perseverance. We won't, well, let, we won't try the 410 because we've kind of had a look at that engine. But uh, let's try the X520. So this car is best suited, you know, on the road and off the road. So if we just drive it around a bit. It's pretty nice. It's like a luxury off-roady sort of... Wow, thank, <laughs> thank God that uh, lamppost was completely non-collidable. I didn't realise they were non-collidable in this map. But anyway, here we go. So driving along, it's exactly the same. Very soft suspension. We've got that third row of seats back there, by the way. If I press shift S, you can probably see it. Is it going to... Yeah, there you go. Look, raising up. Nice. And we've got sport mode and a trail mode. Here we go. Trail mode is on. Ooh, that's a good idea. How far up that ledge can we get? Differentials and tra transfer... Ooh, what did I hit? Well, we just completely went over a rock or something. Anyway, here we go. Mm, okay, let's just get out of the bushes and then try again. Low range mode, of course, of course. What a beast. Come on. You can do it. It's these bushes, they really stop you from getting up, but they are oh, no match for the X Class, the X Series. Yeah, what an awesome vehicle. Okay, here we go. There was a, uh, like a TV program in the UK called, I think it's World's Most Dangerous Roads, and they got like celebrities to drive sort of off-road vehicles in like death road in Peru and stuff like that. And they almost always use a land cru uh, cruiser. If you want to do any like long distance off-roading, this is the car you'd get in the modern day. It's so reliable. They're really good at off-road. And the modern ones are like really luxurious because they've had to compete with Range Rover. I've never been up this path before. Whoa, no. We're dead. Now that never happened in the TV program when all the celebrities did survive, but uh, yeah, let's get back up here. This, this, uh oh, this trail is definitely perfect for what we're doing right now. So let's take it slow. We don't need to be in low range mode for this, but here we go. So does this have the liftable suspension? It should have the liftable suspension, shouldn't it? Uh, what's the controls for the control paid? No, it doesn't have air suspension. Bouncy mode? No. No air suspension, that's fine, but still works pretty well. Whoa, it's fast with that V8. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that we're up here, let's move on to a different variant. So, what else we got? Uh, we were in the X520. We weren't, we weren't going to have a look at that. The X520 Perseverance Package. Right. Oh no, what's happening? I've Press the accelerator. Designed after the 2020 Mars Perseverance Rover, really? This is a limited run ultimate off-roading package. Comes with standard plethora of accessories, beefy tyres, and all of the other standard equipment found on the X520T. Awesome, awesome. Here we go. Oh, look at this. We've got these, like, side panels, these little boxes on the side. And then, uh, can we open the tailgate? Oh, we can't open the tailgate, I don't think. What did I just see? Oh, the lights in the back. Okay. Door? What's in the back? Like, really tinted windows in the back, but then, yeah, you can still see stuff in the back. With these, like, oh. Look at the... Oh, it's three seat belts, of course. Can we put the seats up? Shift S? Yeah, we've still got a third row of seats. Okay. Beautiful interior. Let's go. We need to go into trail mode, and off we go. Take it nice and slow. Oh, yeah. Look at those tyres. 
So there are ten, se no, sorry, seven sets of tyres in this mod. They're all new, they're all custom, and ten interior colours. So you can see the amount of work that's gone into this mod. It's actually been a bit of a group project. Finn Wilkinson is the person who's like basically mainly developed it, but then there's also been other people. And you can see some info about that at the bottom of the mod page in the description. Here we go. A year in the making, this mod. Well done, guys. You've done a great job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. The trail mode really cuts in quite a lot to keep you, like, stable on these dirty roads. <laughs> dirty roads, what am I talking about? You can tell I don't do off-roading in real life. Oh, no, the snorkel. The snorkel's all floppy. How did that happen? Must have broke, broken from its mount. This is a good road to test this thing on. And it's very durable. I mean, we're crashing it and it's not got any real... I was about to say any real damage, but now we do. Yeah. Okay, any more versions? I want to go back to the utilitarian version because that one has like less off-road credentials. I want to see what it's like. Uh, the, the 340 Mountain Rescue. Okay, let's see what this is like. I think we've got that one and then that one to check out and then that's it, is it? God, we've, we've got through all of these quickly, haven't we? We'll just check out that one last then. Okay, here we go. Mountain Rescue. Have we got any flashy lights? No, we don't. But um, Keswick Mountain Rescue Team. That's in the UK. That's pretty cool. Look, right-hand drive. Trail mode. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to go and save someone at the top of the mountain. Here we go. Yeah, this thing works well. Oh. We're just on a sort of uh, tarmacked road now. Oh dear. Not very um, difficult, challenging terrain, is it? Oh yeah. Where's the... Uh, oh, I know where to go. Where's the tunnel? There's a tunnel somewhere up here that you can go into. Oh, what's this? Ooh, that's awesome. Look at that. Should we try that? Yeah, let's try that. I've never done this before. Here we go. Mountain rescue. Here we come. We're going up a rickety old mining platform. Full throttle me to jump. Come on. Yay, one of the wing mirrors came off. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. Wow, love it. God, we, we did a huge flip then, and the car is barely damaged. Right, the last variant of today. This is one of the greatest mods I've ever tried for this game. You've got to go and check it out. I mean, there's just a body. <laughs> this serves an, ex an example of why you don't go to Detroit in a Centauri. That's a good joke. That's a good one. Okay, so, what does this variant have? I didn't check out the um, description. So, it's the... Modified by Highland Trucks to fit much larger tyres, this beast is capable of attacking just about any situation. It's like a monster truck with these wheels. Okay, here we go. Transfer case and differentials. Let's try and get up there. Here we go. Just for any situation. Well, let's see. Oh. Oh. If we didn't get caught on rocks, I think it would. So let's try that again. Let's go up here. Don't get caught on the rocks. Come on. Low range, low range, low range. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm the worst off-road driver ever. Come on. Oh, oh. oh we're going to flip over. What the heck? That was really weird. Come on. There you go. We're up. Getting over the rocks. There's a tree in the way. A dead tree. No! I mean, it gave it a good go, but that was a pretty steep hill, to be fair. Get out of low range mode. And drive along. Ooh, look at this bridge. That is awesome. So there we go. The Procyon Centauri 2022. This brand new mod has just been released today. I have enjoyed it uh, a hell of a lot. It's one of the best mods I've ever tried. Have we got these... Can we put these lights on at the top here? Alt-N. Oh, that's a shame. Can we do, like, with the electronics 
light bar. Ah, has a light fog light. Oh, that's really okay. I don't know why that doesn't light up, but anyway, a really cool mod. You've got to go and check it out. It's a modern SUV in BeamNG. Finally, I mean, what's not to love about this mod? If you want to see another video on BeamNG that I think you'll enjoy, click the video on screen right now. Thank you very much, my oldest sim fan, Oma Mandy. They support me on the YouTube memberships. You can get a YouTube membership for as little as one dollar ninety-nine per month, and it gives you access to exclusive monthly videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more Simulator Adventures.